team. Night team is staying on top of a story you first heard here on ABC 57 News. A 12 year old boy attacked by an off duty Pulaski County police canine. Now we're learning about new guidelines the department is implementing to prevent future tragedies following ABC 57's reporting. Investigative reporter Kevin Warmhold explains the rules the department has changed and has a first look at newly obtained body camera video. After receiving a tip from a caller back in March, I reached out to Michaela Johns, who told me her son was the victim of a violent attack. We met with the victim and then went to the Sheriff's Department hoping to get answers. We requested documents from the department, including the guideline for canine officers. After our story aired, this letter was sent to Johns, laying out the changes that those department guidelines were going to implement. The handler, Sergeant Seth Barton's home, now has a fence. The dog is required to be on leash, confined in the home or in the fenced area unless engaged in training, which will require brightly colored indicators being worn by Barton and the dog, Loki. The letter also indicated that the county insurance carrier will be covering medical bills and out-of-pocket expenses. We also filed a request for body camera footage through the Freedom of Information Act. This is the first time that the video of the response is being made public. I didn't even know how to handle this situation being a police officer's dogs, you know what I mean? On February 29th at 7.30 in the morning, two Pulaski County deputies responded to a call for a boy who was bit by a dog. 12-year-old Alexander Calhoun was walking to the end of his driveway to meet the school bus with his 15-year-old brother and 9-year-old sister. He was viciously attacked by two of his neighbor's dogs. One of those dogs, named Loki, belonged to the Pulaski County Sheriff's Department. After the officers get to the scene, Alexander's mother, Michaela Johns, shows the deputies the physical damage. Alexander, you're going to have to tell me where they're at again. <laughs> Deputy Pickens documents and photographs the injuries. Then, Alexander's older brother, Adrian, gives details of the attack. The dogs pinned him down in the cornfield and grabbed him right here. The dark one grabbed him right here and the lighter one started going up towards his, up his back. I ran over and the lighter one ran off and I ran up and I kicked the dark one in the head. After taking the information needed for a bite report, both deputies respond across the street to Sergeant Seth Barton's house. Barton is Loki's handler and responsible for following department guidelines as a canine officer. John's Alexander's mother got to view this footage at the sheriff's office after she made a request. She was unhappy with her neighbor's reaction. Seth made light of the situation and was not concerned at all about my kid's safety as well as his actions since then. He said the dark colored one, um, the boy, had, the 15 year old had to kick him in the head to get him off. Photo lineup of dogs down there? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, so now and then it'd have to be Loki, so. Well, that changed a little bit. Too. Yes. Barton then asks Officer Pickens to ask him what happened. Wait, you didn't even ask her what happened. Okay, what happened? She woke up and let all the dogs outside. <laughs> <laughs> back in the bedroom. The sergeant placed blame on his wife. I was very upset by how long it took for them to take action, considering no matter how many times they told him that the dog needed to be leashed and contained, he completely refused to listen to anybody. John's recently obtained legal representation to protect her family moving forward. She told me that she is grateful the department finally implemented the changes and that Sergeant Barton is following those new rules so far. In studio, Kevin Warmhold, ABC 57.